My next fight will be the fifth fight of this year. And if I, if I finish my fight with no injuries, I will be ready to fight in December as well. And it will be my sixth fight for this year. That's okay, so how many seconds did you win and again? 67 seconds. So this was incredible because here we go again with another win. And we had just interviewed you probably like uh, just, a, just, just a couple of weeks ago. So here yes. we are back again. Yes. First you did a spinning back fist and then you, you hit him with a clean punch. Yes. And that knocked him out cold. Yes. You see him standing on his heels and just falling back onto yeah. the canvas. Yeah. Even the host was like, that was the cleanest knockout he has ever seen. You know why? Because I'm getting confused because you have so many fights. Yeah. No. They changed my opponent before one week. So I have to change my game plan because my first opponent is orthodox. When they change to another the opponent, the new opponent was Southpaw. When I entered the cage, there was no stress affecting me. I was trying just to focus on him. And I have injuries. I have injury on my leg. I wasn't able to kick. We could see that there was a huge bruise on your leg. Yes. It was my worst injury going into a cage. Of course, my strategy was to punch because I, I can't use my legs. And you, and you were saying how a lot of people were talking about how that they got used to you kicking. So you want to prove that you were good with punches. Punch. I was training to punch more and prove to people that I'm good also in punching. So I always do a spinning back fist, but every time I do it in a different variation. I throw the jumping front kick. He was too close to the fence. I was taking my time to throw the back fist, and when I saw there was a chance, I threw it. I knew that he, he got hurt. And I continue immediately with the right punch on his face. He left his hands down, and I knew there that it is a knockout. And I was just making sure by punching the left punch on his face and it was done yeah that was a great fight it was such a clean finish it happened very quickly and you have another spectacular win and it happened to be in front of such a great crowd you had Renzo Gracie that was there Renzo. you had Khabib, Khabib and his father Abdel Manaf was there yeah. and uh, you even did like a small call out with Khabib and that was just that absolutely was just like, brilliant like kidding <laughs> yes but uh... <laughs> you wanted to do probably a sixth fight but you decided to finally give yourself a break I changed my mind and I think about my injuries I have a lot of injuries to, to, to take care of you have to look oh, up for your well-being. <laughs> I mean, you've done enough already. It's yeah, okay to, yeah, get, yeah, to give yourself I, I, a break. I have to, uh... What you really want to do is go for the title next, which is well-deserved because you've had so many fights, a great comeback, and two wins right after each other. I think uh, it's time to see you fight for that belt. I'm ready for the title. I'm going to train as I always do. So then I guess we'll see you in the beginning of 2020. Yes, sure. Now <laughs> I'm ready for the new year. All right, thank you so much, Ahmed Laban, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. This is Fight Club Lebanon.